you guys and welcome back to my channel. I hope you are all having a fantastic day. Today we are going to talk about negative people. Exciting, right? Negative people. Those that just love to complain. They can't find the positive in anything and they just don't do anything but either bring themselves or other situations or other people down all the time. If you know of anybody in your life who is consistently negative, go ahead and leave me a comment down below. Names omitted pleased of just how they are in your life. Are they a coworker, family member, friend, spouse? Who are they? Let me know down in the comments. We can all maybe commiserate together. Regardless, some people are just negative in life and don't realize it. I think they just get used to it. It's just like they think of it as their trait, but that does not mean that we have to take it all in because I do think that negativity is contagious just as I think that positivity and kindness is also contagious. And because of that, here are my five tips on how to deal with negative people. Number one is to set limits. Don't feel pressure to stay in a situation where someone is just simply going to talk down or complain to you. This is the 21st century. Everybody is busy or they can at least say that they're busy. So use that excuse if you feel like you are trapped in a situation, but be polite about it. Oh, you know, I'm really sorry. I've got this meeting or this phone call. Can I catch up with you later? That's actually what I do. There are a lot of times where I'll maybe have a coworker or a friend or something be in the same parking lot that I'm in if I'm going in to work or a meeting or something like that. And I will usually, if the conversation's turning really negative or if they're just consistently saying horrible things, it's one thing if a friend's having a bad day. Please don't confuse that situation with consistent negativity. But if I don't want to be around that and I want to set a limit, I will usually use the fact that I am working and on a schedule or I just respect the time that I have set aside to work so I can then respect the time I have to relax. And I will use that as a reason that I need to excuse myself and I will catch up with them later. Setting limits I do think is really important because if you start your day off with somebody who is negative, that kind of energy does affect you for the rest of your day. And I don't know about you guys, but I don't want to be negative or just feel down because of somebody else's feelings, usually on something I'm not even involved with. So set your limits. Number two is to choose your battles. Do not engage with negative talk. I know on really tough or stressful days, all you really want to do is sit around and just scream and, you know, be negative and let it out, but try your best to restrain those feelings. Namaste. And if somebody else is trying to get you to argue with them, do whatever you need to do to stay polite, but not engage in arguing or just being negative. Again, complainers never enhance life. And above all, go back to number one and excuse yourself for whatever reason you need. Number three is do not analyze the situation. If someone comes up to you, Susie, Susie will be an example. She had a horrible weekend with two of her friends that you don't even know. And she's going on and on and on. The last thing you need to do is analyze the situation. One, it will waste your time. Two, you were not even a part of it. You should not be forced to take your precious time and analyze a situation that is not yours. If Susie is a girlfriend of yours and she's trying to vent a situation to you, you can be the good friend to take it in, give a little bit of your insight or encouragement or spread some positivity as a good friend. But if it is a colleague or somebody you are just an acquaintance of, do not analyze the situation. Number four is to build a support system. Above all, have a group of friends around you whenever you can that bring out the best in you. They are positive. They think highly of you and themselves. They have goals. They're just good people to be around because the people that you are around, you will be an average of everybody you spend your time with. So make sure if you do have somebody in your life, and you can't change it to is negative, that you do have a support system of people that you know will be there for you, encourage you. And in the event you are stuck with a negative person, your support system can bring you back up and remind you of your own goals and things that you are trying to accomplish. You can also use the support system if you need to call and vent to somebody. My advice to this is if you want to keep your friends, let them know, give them a call and say, Hey Kelly, I had a really bad day. Can I take two minutes of your time and vent something? And then we can talk about plans 
for the weekend. That is the best way I've seen it done, and my friends do it to me as well. It's just so we, on both sides, know that we need to get something out and off of our chests, and then we move on. And number five is to embody positivity. Your happiness should be at such a high priority in your life that you would never let anybody bring it down. If they have something negative to say to you, about you, in any capacity, you can take it in and let it go. I do believe Eleanor Roosevelt said, no one can make you feel inferior without your consent. This actually is a question I get asked with a lot of clients online. They get really embarrassed. Oh, I started my YouTube channel. I don't want any of my friends to see it. I'm embarrassed. And I said, does your YouTube channel make you happy? And they go, oh yeah, it's great. I'm just learning about it, but I don't want them to see it. I'm kind of you know, embarrassed, it's new. And I let them know if you need to keep it private for a while, keep it private. But if anyone does find it, because someday they will, don't let them feel inferior. Know that that is who you are if it makes you happy. It is worth it and if they're really your friends and support system, they will probably be really excited about it. And number six, my bonus tip in this video, be nothing if not kind. This one goes with the idea that someone negative is saying negative things about you. You may not hear it yourself, but if you work in an office or you went to high school or you are just a female or wherever a teenager, chances are someone said something negative about you and you probably figured it out through a third party who was an acquaintance hearing it who didn't want to stand up for you at the time but knew enough to go tell you about it later here's how you handle that you be nice to them not because being nice to them is going to make you any better it's just going to silence the negativity and show more of that person's true colors than yours for example if Susie said something really horrible to me at my place of work and I heard about it from somebody else, I would make sure not to treat her any differently. Now granted, high school Kristen would probably not talk to this person, but adult Kristen, who knows how to just be kind, would. I would ask Susie how her day is going when I passed her in the hall or I saw her at the water cooler, because what is she going to say to her friends? Kristen was so rude to me today. She asked me how I was doing and she just took a minute to, you know, inquire about me and my life. That shows that Susie's got some problems. But above all, kindness is contagious and I can only beg of you to exude as much kindness as you can to your friends and to your enemies. Just be kind. Anyway, those are my five and six bonus tips on how to deal with negative people in your everyday life. Once again, if you have somebody in your life that is consistently negative or complains or any of the above, leave them down below in the comment section. If you like these kind of how to deal with self-help lifestyle videos, give this one a thumbs up. And if you are watching this unsubscribed, click that little red subscription button down below. It'll update you each and every time I upload a new video. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye you guys.